Hello everyone, it's Zara and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about productivity and time management as a nurse. Now as nurses, we can often be pulled in many different directions when we're working and this can be very overwhelming, especially when we're under pressure with our workload. However, by implementing these different strategies, hopefully we can be more productive with our time and can better handle the demands of the day and all the tasks that you have to deal with. Here are my top five strategies that can hopefully help you better manage your time when you're out there working as a registered nurse. So let's get into it. Make a to-do list. Now, if you're a little bit like me and you gain a great sense of achievement when ticking things off a to-do list, then this strategy will be your best friend. I actually came across this system when I was working as a student nurse and one of my mentors actually showed me this way. And what this involves is creating two types of to-do lists. That is one for the morning and early afternoon tasks and a second one where you make another list for the late afternoon to evening tasks. Now, of course, this is dependent on what kind of role that you are doing as a nurse. If you're working 12 hour shifts, then of course you will be having a longer to-do list. But this system can also work pretty well for if you're working shorter shifts like a nine to five or an eight to four. Making to-do lists is a great way to remember the tasks that need to be done. And also this will help you stay organized and focus on exactly what needs to be done. I had a great sense of achievement at the end of a shift when I used to look at my list and I had all the things I needed to be done crossed off and yeah. So definitely making to-do lists and sticking to them as well. The second strategy is prioritizing tasks. Determine which tasks need to be done and tackle those first. This could be answering an important phone call from a doctor, this could be prepping a patient for theatre, or it could even be preparing a medication very early on in the morning so that you can get it done by a certain time. But remember, be adaptable. There will be things that occur in your shift that will have to take priority, no matter how structured your plan is. This could be a deteriorating patient, this could be an emergency call that has come through or an emergency admission, or it could be reallocating your tasks because there's been an understaffing issue on your unit. In those instances, be calm and prioritize as you go along. This will help you to stay on track and address the most important and pressing issues as you go along. Take breaks. I cannot preach this enough. It is so important to take your break in order to avoid feeling overworked and of course avoid burnout and do what you wish on your break. If you want to switch off, listen to music, read a book, even go on a call with one of your loved ones, do it. It is your time and it's your choice how you wish to use it. One thing that I like to do is I actually like to separate myself from the staff room and go and pray. Um, and that helps me relax and I feel ready and prepared to tackle the rest of the shift. So take your break, even if it's for a short period of time so that you feel refreshed and ready to take on the rest of the shift. Set aside dedicated time and focus on one task at a time. Nurses, brilliant at multitasking. However, multitasking and then there is triple and quadruple and an excessive amount of tasking. It is so easy to get caught up with one thing and then you've got buzzers going off, you've got phone calls going off, you've got family members wanting to come and talk to you and you find yourself being pulled in different directions and then you don't even remember what you were doing in the first place. A really good example of this is documentation. I think we're very good at wanting to sit down and get things done but with all the different things that are going on in the unit and wherever you are, it can be quite a lot. But in order to better manage your time, stay disciplined and focus on one thing at a time. Even if that means seeking help so that you can just focus on doing documentation or doing a wound dressing or tending to a phone call whilst another nurse or another care assistant watches your patients. So set aside time for each task. That way you can stay focused and avoid multitasking and be more efficient with your time. The last tip, seek help when needed. I've already touched upon the importance of this, but most definitely if you're feeling overwhelmed or if you're struggling with a task, please don't hesitate to go to a senior colleague, to go to your colleagues around you and ask for help. After all, your co-workers, your managers, they are there to support you 
so it's very important to ask for help when needed. By implementing these different time management strategies, hopefully you'll be able to better manage your time when you're out there working as a nurse. Remember, whilst it's also important to implement different strategies and systems, it is also important to prioritize you and put your self-care and putting your breaks and your time to yourself as a priority as well to avoid things like burnout. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care and stay safe.